Hey guys, this is Rishi Chulani from The Dark Knot, and today I would like to talk to you about how to match lapel pin colors to your suits, shirts, and ties, and pocket squares. Now, with lapel pins, you know, you might have various colors. You're not generally gonna have patterns like you do with a pocket square or a tie. So what I really wanna focus on is a lapel pin color that you're matching to the rest of your ensemble. Now, as I've pointed out in previous videos with matching ties and also matching pocket squares, if you could just pause this video for a second and pull up a color wheel on Google Images. Now, now that you're back at the video, once you've found a color wheel, a color wheel is an extremely useful tool for understanding properties of color and how to mix and match different colors. As you will see, it's divided largely into two camps. You've got your warm colors, which are red, orange, and yellow, and you've got your cooler colors, which are blue, green, and purple. Now, at its best, a color wheel is gonna take a warm color and a cool color and pair them together to create what we call a sense of harmony where you have a sense of balance. But you can also go for simpler color schemes, which we will go over in the beginning of this video. So you can go with simpler color schemes where you're not taking a warm and a cool color for those of you who are just starting to experiment with color. And then you can work your way up to color schemes where you know, you're really gonna get that vibrant color contrast between a warm and a cool color. So the first scheme we can go for is a monochromatic color scheme. Now in a monochromatic color scheme, you take a color in the color wheel, say blue, and you pair it with a darker or a lighter variant. So you could do a light blue lapel flower with a blue tie, or with a light blue tie, you could do a navy lapel flower. So, but you know, again, like this is a, a blue jacket that I'm wearing, a nice blue uh, summer jacket, but if you're wearing a blue jacket, you don't necessarily want to wear a blue lapel flower and blue tie, you want some contrast, but say you're wearing, you know, a khaki suit or a gray suit and you have a blue tie, you could do a blue lapel flower. Now a similar color scheme is the next color scheme, and it's literally called similar color scheme, is when you're taking two colors that are adjacent to each other on the color wheel. So you might take a blue tie with a green lapel flower, or you might take a blue tie with a lilac lapel flower, and that's gonna give you enough color variation, but the contrast isn't strong enough where it completely pops up. So for you guys who have experimented with color and say you've already tried the monochromatic color schemes and you wanna take your adventures with color to a slightly higher level, a similar color scheme is a great is a great way to get into more color experimentation. Now, the next color scheme, and this is where it gets interesting, is where you start pairing warm colors and cool colors to create that beautiful contrast. Now, this is called a triadic color scheme. So what is a triadic color scheme? It's, as the name implies, it's a color scheme formed by drawing a triangle within the color wheel. So an, an equilateral triangle will have blue, red, and yellow, and another one will have purple, green, and orange. Now, th that's generally a, a more bold color scheme, so let's stick with blue, red, and yellow for now. Again, um, you could go with a blue tie and say a red lapel flower. Now, what's burgundy? Burgundy, at the end of the day, is a shade of red, which means it's red mixed with black. Uh, a tint of red will be red mixed with white, which is gonna give you pink. So here we have burgundy, which is a shade of red, a darker variant of red right which is part of that triadic color scheme with blue and yellow going really well with this blue tie here you have pink in here which means the tie designers have obviously thought about color schemes as well because pink is a lighter variant of red so you have pink with the blue in the tie i have a lilac lapel flower, uh, pocket square here which is part of a similar color scheme and then i have a burgundy lapel flower which is part of the triadic color scheme so it all goes really well together so that's another way to experiment. And here you can see you have a cool color and you have a warm color. But the thing is, because burgundy is a darker variant of red, it's not gonna pop up as much, but it's still gonna look very, very elegant. But it's not gonna pop up as much as the next color scheme, which is a complementary color scheme. Now this is the boldest of them because you're taking two colors that are diametrically across each other on the color wheel. So you would be pairing, for example, a blue tie or a blue jacket with an orange lapel flower. So you're gonna have that really warm orange and a cool blue and it's gonna contrast really, really well together. So I hope you've had fun watching this video and I hope a color wheel serves you with your color coordination purposes in the future. You can use that same concept whether you're matching ties or pocket squares or lapel flowers or all of them together. Uh, please feel free to subscribe below this video to continue to get useful men's style videos from The Dark Knot. Alternatively, you can go on our site, which I'll provide a link to below the video, www.thedarkknot.com, where we have an extensive range of ties, pocket squares, and lapel flowers, 
in addition to a very comprehensive men's style blog where I've personally written over 150 articles on men's style and an extensive necktie guide and you can sign up on the website and continue to receive style blog updates from us so you'll have article form and video form and it can be very very useful so again this is Rishi Chalani with The Dark Knot thank you for having watched this video and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video thank you